this stage, um, especially in the situation it was. You guys had it tied, I think, and then the, the flagrant. Your mindset kind of coming out of this game with the foul and whatnot. Um, you just gotta make adjustments. You know, stuff like that's gonna happen. You know, you just gotta adjust to how the refs are calling the game and try to stay in the rhythm. It's, you know, we talked to you yesterday about the suspension and whatnot. To, to be back on the bench at the end of this game, what, what were your emotions like after? Same. You know, just having to watch instead of being able to contribute is tough. Is that something you can work on this off season even more? I mean, I know you've spent your whole career dealing with that at times. Is there a way to to work on foul trouble? throughout the offseason. I, I mean, like, yeah, like you said, it's something that you just have to adjust in games. Not really something you can work on besides like footwork and stuff like that. But it's a lot of just in-game stuff, adjustments during the game, how they're going to call it soft or call it um, physical. How often do you go back? Soft today? Um, I mean, it was, it was both ways. I mean, <laughs> that's a tough question. <laughs> did, did you? <laughs> yeah, that's a tough question. I'm not trying to get into talk about it. I mean, this season in particular, did you notice um, I don't think so. I feel like it's just, like I, said, I feel like it's game to game. The you know, rest call it different. Have you talked to Greg at all? About that? I mean, he dealt with that, obviously, during his year at Ohio State and in NBA, too. Do you talk to other big guys, and him in particular, about dealing with those situations? Yeah, he just tried to tell me to show my hands, you know, just work on feet. Caleb, that, that flagrant was it. I don't know. A reaction, angry reaction, were you frustrated? Did it was it an accident? What kind of played out there? I mean if you if you watch like if you watch me play, I mean every time I, I make a spin move my elbows elbows are up. Yeah. So I mean a shorter guy like that, he kinda got under me and he just got caught. Because you've been, like we've talked about this before, the way you've kind of had to manage your emotions with some frustration with that, but that wasn't part of this situation. Oh, no, I mean, I just, I was just going into a shoot emotion like I always do. How often do you go back and look at each of the fouls? That, do you I learn mean, from them? Uh, yeah, I learn from them. I watch film after every game, but it's just, sometimes it's just some fouls you can't avoid. You know, it's just, everybody's going to be bad calls. How do you feel like you've progressed in, in getting to know, like, I can do this, I can't do this, the refs will call this, they won't call this? Um, leading up to this game, I, I was doing pretty well. You know, I was in the games with two, one foul, and, and um, I mean, I guess today I was just, uh, I guess I was out of control. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do in the next two days leading up to the selection Sunday? Work out. I mean, that's all you can do is work. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult to go through that waiting period? Um, kind of just watching teams play, you know, you could have been in that spot. Mm -hmm. How confident do you feel? Um, I feel pretty confident, you know. We're, we're just going to let our body work speak for itself. You know, we've been playing well all year. If the committee puts us in, they do. If they don't, they don't. You know, we're going to go out there and do our best and wherever we play. Appreciate it, Caleb.